Fantastic beasts live in movies, books, and our reality. And some of the weirdest creatures live in the ocean. They're called sea slugs. Some of them have the ability of plants to feed on sunlight. Others look like dragons and are poisonous like snakes. Let's study some of the most incredible species. So the first one on our list is an animal that hangs out in the ocean, eats algae, and acts like a plant. A unique variety of green sea slugs can photosynthesize. Simply put, it can feed on sunlight and it will be enough to eat until it's full. But that's not even the coolest part. This creature, which looks like a snail with a green leaf on its back, gets the features of plants by changing its genes. The green sea slug gets its photosynthesizing abilities from the algae it eats. And here's how it happens. When the slug bites off the sea plant, it also consumes a small portion of cells called chloroplasts. The slug's intestines absorb these particles and connect them with the slug's cells. Chloroplasts mix with the animal's genes and, with the help of chemical compounds, allow the animal to produce chlorophyll, a green pigment that captures sunlight. The more chloroplasts this creature eats, the better its photosynthesis abilities are. By the way, these cells not only allow the slug to feed on light, but also color it in green pigment, which helps the animals disguise themselves among the grass and hide from predators. Some species of these sea inhabitants can eat algae just once, and it will be enough to feed on sun rays for the rest of their lives. By the way, they don't live long, just one year. Scientists observed how sea slugs didn't eat anything after absorbing chloroplasts. The animals simply sunbathed in the sun while their cells absorbed the sun's energy and then converted it into food. At the same time, the slugs multiplied, interacted with each other, and led an active lifestyle. The researchers also found that this ability could be inherited. That is, small slugs already had algae genes despite the fact that they had never eaten them. We've just met one species of these strange animals. And in total, there are about 2,000 kinds of sea slugs, and they're all unique. First of all, they differ from one another with their colorful patterns. Sea slugs are some of the most colorful creatures in the world. Yellow, mother of pearl, blue, purple, spotted, and many others. Some of them seem to appear with a negative color, while others are painted in acidic psychedelic colors. However, slugs themselves don't even suspect how beautiful they are because they don't distinguish colors. The bright patterns target predators, warning them that these slugs are toxic. Some species, such as the blue dragon, are so venomous that they pose a serious danger even to humans. So don't touch them if you see them in the ocean. But the most crazy thing about these creatures is how they produce their venom. Blue dragons are those rare animals who hunt prey bigger than them in size. Moreover, the creatures they love to eat look much weirder than the sea slug. They're like guests from another dimension. These are the pelagic siphonophore, the blue button, and the violet snail. In addition to their strange appearance, these creatures have venomous tentacles. But the blue dragon is not afraid of them. It uses their venom against them. It absorbs the toxins of these little monsters, concentrates it in itself, and makes it even stronger. The sea slug then uses this venom to sting prey and enemies. Therefore, many predators avoid the dragon if they see it in the water. In humans, the sting of the blue dragon can cause nausea, allergies, and other health problems. Besides the coloring, all sea slugs have different tentacles. Green slugs, as you've seen, have small legs, but the tentacles of the blue dragon resemble wings. The limbs of some slugs look like spikes. There's a species that looks like a mutant jellyfish with wide tentacles. This is the lion's mane nudibranch. Its fins and its head are like a hood. While hunting, it wraps the prey from all sides and squeezes it. Japanese slugs with wavy tentacles are also found in nature. And by the way, these slugs can regenerate their limbs, hearts, and even heads. Scientists watched such a creature lose its head, but its body and the cut-off head were still alive. This is probably the only animal of this size that can fully restore its body after the loss of vital organs. All these differences depend on the slug's lifestyle. 
Some like to swim in the water, and others crawl along the seabed. Food preferences also affect the development of their body shape. And the diet of sea slugs is also quite strange. Some sea slugs eat algae and feed on sunlight. Others eat jellyfish and sea anemones. And some species, like blue dragons, can eat one another. Now look at this beast. It seems like another species of sea slug, but actually, it's something different. This is a sea pig, which is a type of sea cucumber. Their difference is that the cucumber moves along the seabed using caterpillar-like feet, and the pig walks on longer legs. This creature, the size of an adult's finger, can't swim, even though it lives in water. It just walks on the seabed in search of food. This transparent beast that looks like an elephant and a jellyfish does an important job here. It doesn't hunt or hurt anybody. It's just chilling and feeding on carrion. By eating decaying materials, sea pigs make a significant contribution to the ocean's ecosystem, purifying the water from rot and biological debris. They are like vacuum cleaners that clean the ocean of garbage. This creature is harmless, but predatory fish are afraid to approach it because of its disgusting taste. In addition, the bodies of sea pigs are impregnated with poison dangerous to other marine life, but not to everyone. Watching these pigs, scientists often see how small king crabs cling to them. These beings are easy prey for predators, so they need protection. Sea pigs perform this function perfectly, but still they have enemies that can't harm them, and these are parasites. Although sea pigs are not rare animals, scientists know little about them. The reason is the strange bodies of these marine inhabitants. They are very fragile organisms living under high pressure. If you try to raise them to the surface, they will fall apart like artificial jelly. Therefore, you won't find them in aquariums and laboratories. All scientists can do is observe them in their habitat. For this reason, we still don't know the lifespan of these fantastic creatures. We descend into the ocean's black depths to see one of the creepiest creatures on the planet. It has wrinkled skin, weak muscles and bones, and it looks as if it was already born old. The blood shines through its thin skin and paints the whole body in a pinkish hue. However, this weak body is compensated by powerful jaws that protrude from the creature's mouth, making it look like a monster from a sci-fi movie. So, this is the goblin shark, one of the most mysterious fish in the world. This monster is not as fast as its relatives, so it always uses the element of surprise during hunting. It quietly swims up to the prey, hiding in the darkness, and then captures it with its powerful jaws filled with about a hundred sharp teeth. They can't see well in the dark, but have electroreceptors on their long noses. Sharks use them to feel the heartbeat of their prey. Goblin sharks live in the Atlantic, Pacific, and Indian Oceans. But most often, people see them off the coast of Japan. However, scientists still don't know their exact habitat despite the fact that they are one of the most ancient creatures on Earth. Goblin sharks have been swimming in the dark depths for more than 120 million years, and during this time, they haven't changed their appearance.